the first time I did a cleanse, I had no idea what to expect, but I had headaches, I felt nauseous, I was tired, and I thought, what is this? I didn't want to continue, but I thought, I'm going to stick with it. I had been prescribed to do this for three weeks. I was even starting to get little discoloration on my skin from wearing silver, so the oxidation with whatever came out of my body and with the metal, which I don't want to know what it is. But about two and a half weeks in, suddenly I had a tremendous amount of energy and I also felt really sharp and clear and focused. It was amazing. I recommend a cleanse for everyone. I spend a lot of my time getting up very early, working late, on set, and it's very draining and a lot of people are pulling me in different directions and a lot of scattered energy. However, when I do my meditation and yoga in the morning, that helps to channel my energy and get me more focused and it helps me to sustain the energy. So it's very important to have that, whatever practice you have with yourself and check in with yourself every day to keep that energy sustained throughout the day and be the best that you can be. I travel a lot over time zones. So I get into a lot of different time zones and then that jet lag thing comes in. And the best way is as soon as you get to your location, get into the time zone. If it's morning and you're exhausted, still battle through the day, do the best you can. It's okay to take a five or 10 minute little cat nap, but if you take a two hour nap, you're done. You're never gonna get into that time zone or it's gonna take you much longer. And when before you get on the plane, make sure that you get enough rest the night before because it's extremely tiring for the body to get on that flight. And if you have been, if you're more rested when you get on the flight, you're not losing as much sleep and as much rest. And be a little bit gentle. The first day that you arrive on a location, just take it a little bit easy. That's my best tip for you. Oh, and tons of water, of course.